This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. Llama 2 was released recently. So I did an experiment with Llama 2 to see if I can do clinical NLP with Llama 2. So what is clinical NLP? It's basically using natural language processing techniques on clinical text. So here is a report. Okay, so I pulled this report from Mimic Cancer Radiology Reports basically, right from Mimic uh, data set. So here is a radiology report. So there is history present, there is the medical condition present. Uh, you know, a CT was done, a CT chest was done and you know, the findings are present in this report. So I wanted to see if I can make use of LAMA 2 70 billion parameter fine tuned model to see if I can do some zero shot, uh, you know, either information extraction or question answering on this clinical text. So, the best place for me is Hugging Chat because Hugging Chat now supports Llama 2. Okay. And, uh, you know, I need not worry about uh, deploying my own Llama 2 because it's a 70 billion parameter model and I require a huge GPU instance to do it. So I thought I will try it out over here. Okay. So I have tried it out and um, let's look at the results. So what I said is that given the below text delimited by triple quotes, which is my report, extract clinical entities and return response as a JSON file. JSON file should have the following fields, entity text, entity type, entity text starting character index, entity text ending character index. Response should you know, just have JSON file. Right? So that was the idea. So, um, you know, I gave this text over here, exactly copied this text and gave it over here as input. And if you see here is the response, which is coming out of Llama uh, to 70 billion parameter fine tuned model. Okay. So here, if you look at it, it has actually pulled out this entity just with contrast right chest without contrast basically CG chest and the type is procedure here is the starting character ending character index right uh, clip number is a parameter um, then it has pulled out hospital basically from here right uh, you know it has pulled out hospital too uh, then it has pulled out COPD which is a medical condition it has pulled out lung nodule anatomical structure left upper lung anatomical structure right lung base anatomical structure ground glass and linear opacities which are uh, you know symptoms not symptoms basically they are findings right but here it says a symptom uh, so yeah and it says gynecomastia which is a medical condition hiatal hernia medical condition vascular um, calcifications reactivation tuberculosis right so it has pulled that uh, information from over here so reactivation tuberculosis here as a finding right uh, so findings are concerning for this you know it has missed out also a lot of things here right but this is zero shot it says that some entities may overlap in the starting and ending as they appear and type may not be accurate is based on my understanding of text and might require human judgment to correctly classify each entity so i thought let me refine my prompt a little bit better and i said like okay return only json right and extract clinical entities like anatomy, findings, diseases, and return response as a JSON file. So here, again with that same text, when I gave this as input, it is again pulling up entities as anatomy, left upper lobe nodule, right COPD disease, reactivation tuberculosis disease, small squamous cell lung cancer disease, fungal infection disease, vasculitis disease. Right? Let's pulled up some of these entities. So I then say that you know. Uh, can you do a can you do a second pass or maybe a third pass that's what i did uh, over here you know given the report i said like uh, you know extract all the entities right um, so i tried it again saying that extract all entities so again when i try that over here it says here is the json response containing the extract entities so it has pulled out some more you know findings Findings like uh, linear opacities, ground glass opacities, right? So it has actually 
pleural effusion, uh, you know, hiatal hernia. So it has pulled out some of these things. Right. Uh, second pass, third pass kind of. Yeah. So here is this thing. So once it gave certain result, I said that, okay, fine. Can you do a second pass because you have missed out on some of the entities? All right. Has not captured all entities. So when I did a second pass, it captured some new entities which are not captured in the first pass over here. Okay. Then I said that, okay, can you do a third pass? Right. A second pass captured more entities that were missed in the first pass, such as specific structures. Okay. Then I said, okay, can you do a third pass? I was trying to iterate over over here and uh, it was able to pull out newer, you know, with some things which it has missed in the previous pass over here. But you also get an incomplete response. Okay. So what is the use of doing this entity extraction zero shot over here like this? Right. Once you do this zero shot uh, extraction, you can go back and annotate your text. Right. You can annotate this text and you can fine tune a model over this particular text uh, so you can annotation of this clinical text is very difficult because it requires uh, you know uh, subject matter experts to sit and annotate right now the idea over here is you will still require subject matter expert but then you can take out the entities from here and you can annotate it and a subject matter expert can quickly look over it and verify whether it was present or not present okay so this is just about entity extraction right so then I said, okay, let me try some question answering kind of thing with this particular uh, model. So I said, given the text delimited by triple quotes, what clinical conditions are excluded in this report? So basically given this report, what is the condition which is kind of not present or excluded? So it says that, you know, tuberculosis, the impression section mentions that findings are concerning for reactivation tuberculosis. But it is not clear whether the patient has been diagnosed. It is just a possibility. Again, neoplastic process. Right. The impression section mentions that the left upper nodule could potentially be caused by a fungal infection. So this is exactly not about what is excluded. Right. What I was expecting what is excluded is something like there is no significant axillary lymphadenopathy. Right. The heart, pericardium and great vessels are unremarkable. So that was what I thought was kind of, you know, exclusions. But then it says that, okay. Over here, the impression is this is present, but you need to verify it. So it also says it has an exclusion kind of clinical conditions are excluded over. So, but it says that these exclusions are solely based on the information provided. Again, a qualified healthcare professional should review the entire this thing. Right. But then I asked like, what are some of the findings in the report? So it says based on the information provided in the report, the following are some of the findings. The patient has a history of COPD and is currently smoking. This is hallucination. Because in the report, if you see, there is no mention of smoking over here. It just says 82 year old man with COPD. Okay. No smoking is not mentioned anywhere. So this is hallucination and this is possible with your large language models. So that is why you need to again verify the results. Okay. But rest, some of the things have been properly pulled out from the report. All right. So why is this useful? Right. Why is this kind of an analysis useful? So there are companies which work on uh, reports and where there are human uh, who sit and actually evaluate this report and extract information and then store it in databases. So assuming that there is a two stage process where a person first extracts some of these findings and there is a second person who will verify whether the first person has done the job proper. Right now with making use of such large language models like Llama 2 over here, you can to some extent automate the first stage whereby it pulls out this information right and then you can verify using a human a human can verify in the second stage right the things which you need to take care of is hallucination may be present and this results may not be that accurate when compared to a subject matter expert who's going to look at this report and prepare these findings okay so that is a trade-off which needs to be done right so I tried another example over here where I said, okay, given the text D million, what are the findings in the report? So this is another report. Okay. Um, so this is a 64 year woman with pain reason for lesion. And here you have history technique. What was the technique done? You know, and I asked like based on the problem report, there are findings over here. There is no interval change. There are no other areas over here. 
बट दर इज सम काइंड ऑफ वॉट यू कॉल हेड सी टी एंजियोग्राम वुड बी रिक्वायर्ड टू एक्सक्लूड एन एन्यूरिज्म एंड ओवर हियर इन द रिपोर्ट इफ यू सी टू एक्सक्लूड एन एन्यूरिज्म एट दिस टाइम हेड सी टी एंजियोग्राम वुड बी रिक्वायर्ड ओके दर इज सम फाइंडिंग ओवर हियर एंड दैट फाइंडिंग इज वॉट इज शोन ओवर हियर so there is a this thing which could represent either very tortoise or gene so it is actually able to do some kind of extraction from that. and i said you know can you actually uh, what prior conditions did the patient have so here it says it's mentioned in the history section prior lung cancer okay so uh, it is mentioned over here prior lung cancer was noted in the history but pain and lesion is also there somehow it is not pulling that but it is pulling a prior condition as this thing what as lung so if i ask like what was the test done for and i specifically disabled search web because i didn't want to augment any information from the web but uh, i wanted to see from this report itself what it is extract here it says the test was done as a ct scan of the brain without and with uh, intravenous contrast okay uh, ct scan with and without so that's what so it is explaining why this particular okay it's basically explain what was the test done scan of the brain was done like question was like what uh, why was the test it's now pain and lesions okay so first comes of pain and lesion doctor what to determine the cause it is choose a non invasive modality now i add some additional this is some a small experiment which i did with a uh, rama 2 70 billion parameter model to see if i can do some kind of zero shot uh, clinical nlp and i am actually uh, kind of uh, happily surprised with the results on first look the results look great but then you need to do an experiment on say thousands of reports to see how consistently it is pulling out this information in how many reports there is some kind of hallucination what is it missing and things like that right but this is quite a uh, interesting result you can also go and try out uh, you know on hugging chat the 70 billion parameter uh, you know uh, lama 2 the, the fine tuned model over here for various tasks some examples are given over here so you can actually try it out right if you want to deploy say this particular model for this kind of a task uh, there are enough tutorials on the web on fine tuning of lama 2 you can check that as well or how you can may deploy say lama 2 on a particular machine and then on a gpu instance and then how you can uh, send in text and get the response back right i also have a video on the lama 2 7 billion parameter model for say zero shot task you can check that out as well I hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video